Ever wonder why an otherwise healthy man or woman would suddenly have a devastating stroke or heart attack? They ate right, exercised, didn't smoke or drink to excess, but still, there you are, going to their funeral. There has to be something missing from the cholesterol, flabby, fat, heart paradigm that blames the victim for the disease. And there is. There's a cause. Bad bugs. The kind that make your breath smell bad in the morning. The kind that may make your dental floss pink or your toothbrush pink when you brush. The kind that infects more than 90% of the human population and are treated effectively only by a very few dentists. Can you pour me a little bit? Uh -huh. Bad bugs that look like snakes and eat away at your gums and get into your bloodstream and wreak havoc with your arteries, immune system, not to mention the bone around your teeth. That's a missing link, and it can be corrected. Gum disease is now linked to so many problems, it boggles the imagination how widespread these problems really are. Most people don't realize that the majority of adults who lose their teeth do so because of gum disease caused by bad bugs. Many things that traditional dentists do to try and correct this problem actually makes them worse. This painful experience is often offered to victims of gum disease as the only solution to this problem. But research, now 20 years old, shows that it actually accelerates the destruction of bone and increases the loss of teeth. And you do it all again. Deep scaling spreads the disease into the bloodstream in what is called a septicemia. Bacteria are showered into the blood. Dentists or hygienists who use a microscope to look at the plaque that lives around your teeth can tell you easily if you've got the bad rooms or if you do not. They live underneath that layer and swim around in your gums and your bloodstream so they can infect other parts of your body. Where do they come from? Well, DNA testing has confirmed that mothers, lovers, and dogs, yes, your pets are infected too, basically anywhere you swap spit. Don't let the dog lick you in the face. I want a nice fresh drop of saliva and I'll try not to poke you with my, Thank you very my much. tip and see if I can. Now these guys always like to live up in the back and so I'm going to go back up in the back nice around with nice mercury filling up here and see if I can see if any of your friends are up there. If we don't have some of your little friends in there then they're hiding out too much today. So this is the fuzzy stuff that, that we see. It's just, it's just plaque. It's the gook that uh, can cause tooth decay. It's not the pathology. The, the, stuff, we the stuff we're looking for is moving. They're jumping. They're swimming. They're, I call them the usual suspects. Right, there's a rod form. Down on the bottom of the screen, there is a, 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 a bug having babies because it's, a, it's a, it, you know, it looks like linked sausages. Yep. You know where they get the little contraction in the middle and pretty yep. soon then you get two of them. Spirochetes are really bad actors and look like snakes. They eat blood, and they can bite through mucosa, and they're smart too. They can even bite a white blood cell, like right here. They uh, wriggle in unison to make a pump, like a heartbeat. And they'll take a rod and bite on its side, and then uh, move together to create a circulation around the gum of saliva so that uh, more germs can fit into a smaller area and eat you. Kill them. Just kill them. And a warning. Fluoride makes this disease worse. So don't grab your favorite fluoridated toothpaste and start doing the new things you're going to learn about today. Fluoride kills bones and causes inflammation on by irrigating at home. Periodically have your dentist or hygienist check and make sure they're dead. They are, after all, contagious. After the hygienist's second visit to completely disinfect Scott's mouth, Dr. Smith again sampled his blood. Only this time... This is so pretty. The plasma, look how clean it is. Those are, those are really... Clean. That, that center picture? Uh-huh. That's as good as it gets, man. And I'm right in there. You're right in there. Bless your heart, Scott. That a thousand percent better last week. Man, look at this. 
This is what Scott's bacteria looked like before. This is what Scott's bacteria looked like after just two visits with Lynn. And he keeps it that way by irrigating at home. Scott, thank you very much for coming by today. And so Scott is the uh, principal volunteer and guinea pig in this uh, wonderful documentary. Uh, you've been through quite a lot in the last month, and uh, I'd like you to share with the listeners uh, something about uh, your experience of uh, getting your murky fillings out and killing off your bad bugs. It feels really good to be free of these bugs. Uh, I felt better since, and certainly to have all the mercury that was in there for 50 years uh, gone is uh, pretty encouraging. So. Uh, I'll continue to have mercury, metal-free mouth and see how it goes. Well, when you look on the screen and you see all the three or four different kind of bugs which contribute to major diseases, it's very uh, relaxing to know that that is no longer in your mouth, going through your blood to your heart and other areas where, where it could infect you with these other diseases. So it feels really good. Now we use a water pick. We used a toothbrush with softer bristles instead of the iron bristles I was using in the past. Uh, you assuring me that the uh, softer bristles get in between the teeth. So the main difference, of course, is the water pick, which keeps the, the particles out from under the gums. And so there you have it. Many of the diseases of mankind are caused by microorganisms and animals that live in our bodies, live in our gums, and spread from there throughout our bodies. The solution is really simple. Kill them. You can disinfect them. It's called hygiene. There's nothing controversial about it. It's simply the practice of good oral health care. And the good news is that it's available to everyone for a very modest cost. All you have to have is knowledge. And that's why we've made this video to bring that information to you so that you can take charge of your oral health. And what you'll find is you also get a lot better handle on your overall health. You can find more information uh, about the uh, things that the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology recommends by going on our website, which is on the screen, www.iaomt.org, and on my YouTube channel. It's David Kennedy DDS, and uh, you can search on the, my name or uh, on the title Bad Bugs, and you'll find us on YouTube and many other places. So we're doing our very best to get the information out to you so you can take control of your health.